Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I have for you something that I like to call a crossover catastrophe. And uh, it was, um, I'm just waiting for someone to put me out of my mercy, on out of my, someone to show mercy and put me out of my, my uh, grief here. I'm gonna need some Coin Geek counseling uh, on this one. So, uh, and, and that goes without uh, saying here that um, th this this is bad on lots of levels, but these coins are not all my coins. Some of them are, and so I want you to look at the coin, and then you look at the grade, and then you can tell me um, should we have shot a little bit better percentage. This dime is, uh, you know, a nice looking dime. You tell me, MS sixty four. You know, I mean, ah, uh, I'm gonna put that in the should have crossed pile all right let's let's this is all right i'll try not to be as obnoxious okay so okay so this here this is different this is a little tricky so this is a 24 s very lustrous coin and this is an old icg holder icg ms61 did not cross. Uh, this one I'm really kind of fascinated with because basically as an MS61, you've got to be telling me that they don't think this coin is unk and I think that they're, well, listen, how honest can I be on this show? I just I just think that's kind of a silly one. Um, I don't expect all of them to cross. So for example, this coin here is a Proof 65, it's Proof 65 red brown cameo. Okay, and it's a beautiful coin. Now, you know, when you get into Proof 65 grade uh, with a Cameo, you've got a few different things. They've got to agree with all of the things, right? They have to agree with the grade. They have to agree that they'd call it red-brown, and they have to agree that they call it a Cameo. So on any of those three points, if they disagree, they might not cross it. So, you know, you can give them some uh, grace when it comes to an item like that where uh, you've got... A lot of different monikers on there that they've got to line up with you know but on this 24s all they have to do is say it's unk which apparently they don't think that it is which apparently oh, oh my friends my friends ah uh, this is one of my all-time favorite coins <laughs> for those of you who've been watching my channel for a couple years i've 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 done so many things with this coin it's basically like um a family member now uh, this 19S, which I think is one of the most stunning, uh, stunning sense, Lincoln sense that I've owned, a 19S, tough, tough date, uh, to get really high grade, to get really nice. And, and also I just got to mention, I've had lately, I had a, a dealer who's come through town a few times and he has literally had hundreds of coins with this blue toning to it, hundreds of pennies with this blue toning to it. And uh, so this, I love this one because it didn't cross. And then, da 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 questionable color. That's good stuff right there. Good times. Good times. Crossover catastrophe. Now, okay, I'm going to get into some stuff that's a little bit more fun here for a second because I sent in, I, I was like, you know what? I'm going to take this old holder and send it in just for the heck of it. Now, this, I'm not as surprised it didn't cross. Because if you look at the coin, uh, it's an 88.0, which is a tough date, okay? And it's a beautiful coin all around, nice PL surfaces, but they had it graded a 65 dimple. Now, uh, you know, I, I would be surprised, I would have been surprised actually, I guess, if it had crossed because I don't think it's a dimple. Uh, and it has really nice reflective fields, especially on the reverse. And the obverse is, or just a little bit more on a softer PL side. The reverse has a great eye appeal to it, a nice kind of pop. But uh, I'm not as surprised that uh, this 88.0 did not cross. Okay, so I, I just, I have to show you something fun so I can calm down a little bit here and make it through the rest of the video for you all. Uh, next up, an ICG coin that... Uh, is AU50 
And so the things that's interesting about the cross and do not cross thing is sometimes they give you information like this says they're calling this coin cleaned. Cool. Thanks. I appreciate that. That tells me something, right? Like that is beneficial. Uh, questionable color I may disagree with, but the ones that just say did not cross, you know, like, bro, tell me, is this, is this because you didn't cameo it? Throw, give me your grade, right? Just show me. Uh, we're going to call it a 64. You know, they, they don't do this and I'm not, I, so I'm asking them to do something they don't do, but like justify your, your, tell me what you see here, right? Do, did not cross. Okay, cool. Cleaned, not cleaned, 60, 61, right? AU. So I'd really prefer it when they would tell me what they're looking at. So, okay, so once again, okay, 1896. Now you tell me if this makes the grade for y'all. 1896, and I'm gonna give you a little hint here. They, on, they do not say questionable color. They do not say cleaned, okay? Uh, you know, are, are you going to call this coin, what are you going to call this coin, right? Uh, it's just a nice unk Indian penny, and I don't think it's a high grade. It's got a couple spots. <laughs> MS-63 red brown. Like, how did that not cross? How does that not cross, guys? I mean, they're not calling... Annex didn't call this an MS-67. They didn't even call it an MS-64. I mean, MS-63, that's that's what we call basic. You know, so... Did I say I was going to calm down? All right, I'm calm. I'm cool. I'm cool. Here we go with another proof coin. Proof 63 brown. Right, so let's take a look at this. Proof 63 brown, NGC. A little bit of, a, I don't know what generation this holder is. It's not super old. But, uh, you know, a little bit of a golden tint to it, which is apparently the problem. At least they said, once again, tell me you think it's questionable color. Okay, well, then. At least they gave me an answer, right? That's what I've been asking for, so here we go. I've got a few more to show you. Uh, 1882S. All right, so this one, okay, so so this coin's a little different. This 82S, wild uh, wild toning, high-grade coin, which is hidden a lot by the toning. Like, it's, this is hard to actually get a good shot of with all of the toning going on. It's actually really hard to get a clear, clean shot of what this coin looks like. So, so this coin, ICG, had graded MS67, right? So if this doesn't cross, this is like a, just kind of a, what you might call a fishing coin. Like the owner was like, you know, we got to try, right? And the coin you can tell is actually really, really nice under there. If you look at, look at kind of like the cheek to the ear, that whole hairline area where, where as I turn the coin, the luster kind of shoots around it. It's a real nice coin. Not surprised it didn't cross. But once again, getting back to these lower grade coins that they're not saying are questionable color, you know, what's, what, yeah, yes. Yes. All right. Also, this also is another coin that's a little bit unusual. 1958. Okay. And so this coin, once again, when you talk about something to cross or not to cross, you know, if it's a low grade coin, you think your chances are pretty high. And on a higher grade coin, you think your chances are a little tougher. You know, and it's probably hard to get an MS-68 dime to cross over. Roosevelt dime did not cross. Once again, it's a lot less shocking when you look at a coin. By the way, the coin is lovely. The coin is lovely. But it's easier for me on my end to look at it and say, okay, I can understand if you're not willing to cross something like that. All right. All right. Here we go again. Having fun with an off-grade, off-brand segs. Um, I always find it interesting to try to cross over some coins that are of a different, uh, you know, it's a different brand than people are used to looking at, right? So this thing is an MS-66 dimple. So once again, uh, you know, I'm not surprised this didn't cross. It's a high-grade coin. I don't know that it was ever quite dimple. 
Uh, the reverse, by the way, and this isn't popping up really well in the video here, the reverse is very, very deep. I mean, the reverse is, you know, you look at that mirror here, and the, the reverse mirror is really strong. The obverse mirror is not, not quite as strong. I mean, it's super reflective, but it doesn't have that same, doesn't have that same cameo appearance to it. All right, so, it, you know, shall we leave on a high note? No, that wasn't quite the high note. I don't know if there's a high note in this, uh, other than to say that, you know, here we go. This coin is accidentally in a PCGS holder. <laughs> oh, guys, I'm sorry. Just, just you'll have to forgive me here. Uh, so, also, this coin is in a PCGS holder. So, this coin crossed over. And the thing that's most fascinating about this coin is this was in uh, this was in this holder, NCI, right? NCI, some company we've never heard of before. By the way, this had a split grade on it, which I think is awesome. 64, 64, they were graded on both sides of the coin. And uh, yeah. So hey, this is like that vacation you went on and you were sick for four days out of five, but that fifth day you really had a good time. That's how we're going to roll with this. Um, all right, guys. There you go. Uh, there you go. Crossover catastrophe. CoinGeek needs some counseling. Leave your comments down below. Thanks.